Experts who investigated the remains of an ancient fortification in a northwest China village in the 1990s believe the remains could indicate that the village's residents are the descendants of a missing Roman legion. The village of Li Tian, located in northwest China's Gansu province, is located not far from the abandoned fortification. The village's residents said it was built by their ancestors and that people lived there for thousands of years before moving to what would become their village. Many of the village's residents have Western features, such as blue eyes and blonde hair. My primary school classmates never called me by my name. They'd call me British or German or French or foreigner. Some of them called me blue eyes. Village historian Song Guorong has been working in the local cultural bureau for decades and knows quite a bit about the area. This is the site of the ancient town of Lichuan. Unfortunately, only one section of wall remains now. A retired researcher told me the town was laid out in the shape of a square and that the walls were 10 meters thick. The village's connection, if any, with the missing army of Marcus Crassus has been the subject of speculation for more than half a century. In 53 BC, Crassus was defeated and beheaded by the Parthians, a tribe that occupied what is now Iran, putting an end to Rome's eastward expansion. But a 6,000-strong army led by Crassus's eldest son escaped and was never found again. Chinese historical records indicate that when Chinese general Gan Yanshou was fighting the Huns in 36 BC, his army came across a strange troop that used what he described as a fish scale formation. Experts believe Gan's use of the term fish scale refers to the phalanx, a type of military formation that was often used by Roman soldiers. Gan's army is said to have defeated this troop and brought them back as captives to China, where they would eventually settle down in Litian. Modern technology has helped to get to the bottom of the mystery. DNA tests that some of the village's residents took in 2005 indicate that some of them have European genes. We began our research on the origins of Li Quan in 2005. We collected 113 samples for DNA testing from Li Quan and neighboring villages. The results show that some Li Quan residents do have some of the same features as Europeans. In their genetic markers, we found genes from Europe and Africa. Tsai Junian was one of the test takers. About two weeks after the DNA test, I got a phone call saying that the results show that I'm a Roman descendant. Media reports about the village's unique residents have brought more tourists to the area. Tourism projects are underway, including the construction of a replica of the ancient town of Li Qian. However, some experts question whether the village's residents are truly the descendants of Romans. The DNA test only shows that the villagers are of Central or Western Asian origin. The fact is that Roman army frequently employed mercenaries who would come from all of the world. Rome itself wasn't relegated to the Italian peninsula at that time either. It was a huge empire that stretched across Europe, Asia and Africa. Anthropologists at Lanzhou University believe the Silk Road a 7,000-kilometer trade route that linked Asia and Europe more than 2,000 years ago may also help to explain the origins of Li Qian's people. We were conducting more research on the people of Li Quan. We wanted to know when their ancestors arrived in that area. We found that their ancestors arrived in Li Quan about 10,000 years ago. This is much earlier than the time the Roman legion disappeared which would have been about 2,000 years ago. The people of Li Quan came from a long period of intermarriage between Europeans, Africans, and Han Chinese. Although the DNA tests couldn't specifically prove that the people of Li Quan are the descendants of the missing legion, it did provide further proof that Europeans and Africans played a role in the development of China's population.